Now to the story of a firefighter from Rising Sun who's gone from battling blazes to battling for her life and now slowly getting back to the firehouse. Steve Iwanek sat down with a firefighter and her chief. And Steve, tell us about overcoming a rare condition and still serving. Yeah, well, Dan, Emma Holman of the Rising Sun Volunteer Fire Department is part of an exclusive club that no one wanted the invite to. She has intestinal malrotation, a condition that's kept her out of the firehouse for weeks. Rising Sun. A village of about 550 people and 16 volunteer firefighters, one of which a 20 year old who has faced a gutsy battle. I was born with it. We didn't figure out until I was about five days old that I had the intestinal malrotation. The National Institute of Health says it's a birth defect where a baby's intestines don't form properly. Emma Holman had multiple surgeries to correct it at that time, just days after being born. But just two months ago, she started having pain again. Turns out her intestines twisted again and she needed more surgeries. Nine hour surgery the first time, uh, and then the second time I had uh, problems and I had to go into emergency surgery because my colon flipped on top of my small intestine. And then about a week later um, came my third surgery. Three in two weeks, but through it all, staying strong with a fleet of firefighters behind her. Emma's just a very special per person. She has a great personality, she's funny, she's offbeat. You never have to wonder what Emma's thinking. Because no. I'll let you know. Beating to the sound of her own drum and bringing friendship and fun from the farm to the firehouse. She was here six months and she had a bunch of 50 year old guys sitting around making friendship bracelets during the solar eclipse event. It's an attitude Chief Mike Cox says comes naturally for Holman, something he's learned over the course of the year she's been a firefighter. We don't get a lot of new people that just walk in and say they want to join, especially not young women, but we have been thrilled to have her here. Working with people who love her, even escorting her home from the hospital a few weeks ago as she takes on a rare challenge one day at a time. I think you just gotta keep going. Like if you decide you wanna stay at home all day, then make friendship bracelets. <laughs> She's a trooper, I can tell you. Holman told me that she returned to work this week helping to rig some equipment, but despite her being back home, it will take months before she is cleared to return to active duty. She also says she will be evaluated come the new year to see if she will need another surgery. Reporting in studio, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11 on Fox 36.